Day turned to night for millions in the United States today during the total solar eclipse. This video from NASA is from Mexico, where you can see the moon passing between the Earth and the sun. More than 31 million people live along that path of totality. And here in Charleston, a partial eclipse will continue for about 25 minutes more. Thank you for being here with us today at 4. I'm Raphael James, joined by Chief Meteorologist Bill Walsh. We all were out there yeah. and we saw a partial eclipse yeah. of the sun. It was, I mean, we had 70 to 75 point uh, zero to three uh, as far as uh, totality. So we, we were very close to totality. We were not quite in the path like we were 2017, mm -hmm. but it was, if you didn't see it, it was spectacular. You probably noticed it got dark. Right. Uh, lights came on. Uh, even the temperature dropped about six, seven degrees. Chris and I were watching the temperatures at the weather service. I saw a bird in the tree like going, hey, what's going what's on going with on? this? Let me show you what it looked like from 22,300 miles. That is our satellite. As you take a look, watch the shadow of the moon move from Mexico all across the United States. Look at that. I'm just going to stand back and let you look at that. That is over the last six hours. Watch this. There's that shadow just kind of moving all the way on up, now pulling out of Maine. But again, you can see that totality go right by. Now, of course, we are way back here. So we had, again, the partial eclipse. As you take a look at the weather, uh, we our weather is stunning. The worst weather for this was back in Arkansas, parts of Texas, and back on up into New York State, where they had a lot of cloud cover and some rain showers up there. But back here in the low country, look at this. We had beautiful blue skies. Couple of pictures. Check this out. I shot this uh, also uh, just a little while ago uh, with one of our cameras. And again, you can see that's almost at the total that we had, which was 75.3 uh, percentage of the uh, sun covered. That was really cool. Look at this picture uh, from Walter Harvey out in Somerville. Again, beautiful shot right there. You can see the sun's corona around that. And our friend and uh, fellow uh, space uh, junkie, I call him, we, have, we, are, we are all space geeks, uh, Justin Goldman with a gorgeous shot right there. Look at that beautiful picture uh, from Justin Goldman. So we've seen some amazing pictures right here uh, coming into the low country. So again, it's pretty much over now, but it was something to see. And you'll, next time you want to see a total eclipse, you'll have to wait till 2045.